So you've got your centerpieces here, and you're going to want to just build your first layer around, around it. So get your corner pieces. This one's got red in it. Put the red on bottom. Find all of your pieces. Put them together. Okay. A note about these center pieces. Here, you're going to get two different types of each color scheme. Here's the other red right here. So, right, you have two red-white edges, yeah? These are going to face into each other, right? So, you're going to get... You're, you're going to want to make sure that when they're together, that they, they're facing into each other like this, and not away from each other like this. Um, and that's going to also come into play when you're building it up, because we're going to build the first layer, then build it upwards. You don't want, you want to make sure that when you stick your side piece in, you're not pointing that edge down, and you're pointing it up so that you can put the other piece on top like that. Um, so that's a note about those. So let's put them, let's put this all together. Your center piece, your, your edge pieces are going to face away from the corner. You see how that, the little doohickey is going up against this and then pointing away from it? That's what you're going to want. Because if you get the other red-green piece, which is right here, and you try to do that, it doesn't see how it faces in. To stabilize it, what I do is I take my cubes, I stick them together like that. Right? Okay. Now the next thing that we're going to do, you're going to want to kind of take them apart a little in half. See, it's, it does not like to stay together kind of cut it in half like that, all right, just a little space, that's actually kind of big, but just a little, just enough space that you can stick your core in, okay, so take your core, put it in, get your cubes, and your core should stand up in here, in your center. And you want it turned sideways like that, and not like this, because we're about to use these spaces here. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do, and you're going to also kind of want like a pencil or something thin and long, a skewer maybe. Oops. Forgot to grab one earlier. And here's a pencil with a tip. Okay. Something long and thin like this. <laughs> Focus. All right. You're going to take your T's. We'll call these bats, because for some reason they remind me of bat wings, even though they don't actually look like bat wings. We're going to take our T's, and you're going to stick it like this, so that the T part is down, and so that the, the edge up here, this is going to go flush with that core stem that we were talking about earlier. And you're going to stick it into this slot. You're going to... You see how that kind of looks... It looks like it's going to fit? It is. You're going to take that, you're going to stick it in there. And you're going to take your pencil, or your long thing, and you're going to make sure that you've got it... It's. You're going to make sure that it's actually pressed up as far as it goes, and it looks like it is. So do you see that? We just stuck that in there like that. And you're going to do that with all four sides. It's not going to want to focus. There it goes. See, it's in, it's in there now. You see that? So you're going to do that with all four sides. Cool, so you've got those in. You've got your four T's in. Those are all up against the core stem. 
Now you're going to take your bats. You're going to take four bats, and you're going to stick them in this way. Again, it should look like it's going to fit, because it does. Just stick it in like that. You see that? See, that's in there now. And you're going to do that with the other sides as well. So, you've got your bats in the first layer. Now, this is the tricky part, and this is really the big reason why we've got these other cubes here stabilizing this. The first of the really annoying things you're going to have to do with this core. You're going to take your next T, another T piece, right? So you're going to stick it up kind of opposite of what you just did. You just laid it down like this into the thing. Now you're going to take it and you're going to stick it like this on top of the bat piece that you just stuck in. Like this. What's stupid about this, no, little, there you go. So you're going to stick that on top like that. Now what's stupid about this is that you're going to have to you're gonna have to move. You're gonna have to move your core, right? With this being, with these stabilizing it, you're gonna move. You're gonna have to move your core, and you want to kind of flip these up so that it's, so it's a little to rest on top of it, like that. And that really gets kind of stupid as you get the three or four in, because it's really obnoxious to do. If you wanted to lubricate your cube, what you should probably do is when you have all 70 whatever freaking pieces you have sitting out, put them, you know, in a box, cardboard box or something, and take them out with your CRC or your Vaseline or whatever it is that you use to lubricate your cube. It's funny because CRC says don't use on plastics. You're going to take that and you're just going to spray them like you do your 3x3 or something. See, it's stupid. <laughs> I use the word stupid a lot, by the way. Okay. So, I've got those done, finally. As you can see, even though I've rebuilt this core probably seven or eight times now, maybe ten, it's still obnoxious. But you see, you've got your, can you even, you can see how the, uh, the T pieces you just stuck in are up against the, um, the middle edge center columns on the, um, Thing. Kind of, it's blurry. There we go, it's focusing a little bit. You can kind of see. So, now it's basically stable here. So you can move your your stablers away, stabilizers. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is put together your second layer. 